Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.6 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the not voltage method to find how much power the 2 ampere source extracts from the circuit in figure P4.6. Okay, uh, I think I want to simplify the circuit first because this 2 ohm and 3 ohm ampere. I mean 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistor here is in series so we can merge them into 5 ohm resistor. Maybe let's let's redraw the circuit then. We have this 2 ampere current source here. So we have 2 ampere and then that will be parallel with the 4 ohm 4 ohm resistor and then we will have this 5 ohm resistor here and then we will have that 55 volt voltage source here okay 55 volt okay we are asked to use not voltage method so this is our node here maybe let's name this as node a maybe and this node here as our ground and because this is our ground the voltage here will be zero and now let's assume the current the from the node a here the direction of the current so this is a current source of 2 ampere maybe just assume the current is going there because this will be 2 ampere going down right and then for 4 ohm i think the current will be goes down and then this one i think the current should be go to the left this is our assumption you can assume otherwise uh, but be consistent when do it in a circuit okay so we can do kcl at node a kcl at node a okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay now the only current that goes in is this current here and remember that this is 0 volt and this is 55 so this must be 55 volt from the ground okay and this current here we can calculate it using ohm's law by this one so i'll have 55 volt minus va divided by 5 ohm okay and then the current that goes out here is the current that goes out we will have va minus this is the ground so i'll have va minus zero divided by 4 ohm here so we'll have 4 ohm and then the other currents that goes out is this 2 ampere so i will have plus 2 okay i think i want to get rid this 5 and 4 uh we can multiply this by 20 i think right okay 5 and 20 will cancel into 4 so on the left hand side we will have 4 multiplied by 55 minus va and VA minus 0 is just VA, but then 4 and 20 will cancel into 5. So we'll have 5 VA. So we'll have 5 VA here. And then plus 2 multiplied by 20, that exactly 40. Okay. So now we will have 4 multiplied by 55. That should be 220, right? And then minus 4 VA. And that will equal to 5VA plus 40. <coughs> okay, 220. Okay, now maybe let's group that out. 220 minus 40. And then 5VA plus 4VA. Okay, 220 minus 40 will be 180. And on the right hand side, I will have 9 VA. So we will have our VA is equal to 20 volt. 
24 but that means that the voltage here is 24 okay and then the power that the 2 ampere source extracts okay power what is power power is the voltage in this case VA multiplied by the current right so VA multiplied by I the VA is 20 and then the current here is 2 ampere therefore the power extracted by this current source is 40 and the unit will be what okay I think that's all for this problem this is the final answer which is 40 watt okay that's all for this problem see you in the next video bye bye